House Bill 1, called the Social Media Use for Minors Act, heads to the Senate for a vote this week. And if made law, it would prohibit anyone under 16 from creating a new social media account and require platforms to delete existing accounts held by minors who are younger than 16. Today, 10 Tampa Bay's Hannah Deneen spoke with two moms who use social media differently in their homes. When our children were very small, we had a very strict, like, we're not going to let them just have, be grown up with a device in their hand. In the Singh household, two busy brothers, ages 9 and 11, aren't allowed on social media. Our kids have used YouTube for looking up how to do a math problem. That's like the extent of the use of our YouTube. A decision their mother, Carrie Singh, stands by, even when her 11-year-old has taken an interest. There's certain things that are just a hard no, and, and my kids' safety and their mental health is very important. She supports the Social Media Use for Minors Act, saying it would give parents extra leverage in tough conversations. It makes it easier for a parent to say, well, that's just the law, like you can't do it. Can you believe it's already time for back to school? But in other Tampa Bay households, social media is part of day-to-day -day life. So I have been a content creator since around 2016. Basically, my kids have grown up being in my content. Lindsay Satmary, who runs popular lifestyle blog Paperclips and Confetti, also has an 11-year-old son who has taken an interest in social media. He's very creative. He's very good at drawing. He's working with his friends to develop video games that are actually playable. He produces his own music and he just wants to share all of his creative abilities with the world. Sat Mary runs his accounts and oversees what he's sharing and being exposed to. As much as people are afraid of allowing their children to be on social media, there are features there to allow them to do it safely. She feels this social media bill oversteps parental rights. I think it's a huge mistake to not let parents make the decision for their own children. I think a lot of us know our kids pretty well and know, you know, when they're emotionally and mature enough to handle social media and how to do it safely. Moreover, she feels it could set kids back in a modern age when people make careers online. Have them wait until 16, I feel like they're missing the boat on being able to be out there. Kids are out here creating and they deserve to be seen as well. And reporter Hannah Deneen joins us now. And Hannah, it is so great to hear those mothers' perspectives. But what has the conversation been surrounding this bill among the lawmakers? It's a very similar conversation in Tallahassee, and it doesn't fall along party lines either. So some lawmakers say this is important to keep Florida kids safe, but others say they're concerned about them overstepping parental rights and wasting taxpayer dollars potentially on what they foresee to be an inevitable legal battle over this decision. Now, Governor DeSantis is sharing some of those concerns. He says it's to be determined whether he would even sign this bill if it passes in the Senate. I am concerned about the breadth of it, um, and I want to empower parents. I want to give parents tools uh, to, to be able to do this, and so I just think you've got to be smart about how you do it. The next time this conversation will be taken up in Tallahassee is this Wednesday, February 21st. In studio, Hannah Deneen, 10 Tampa Bay.